All right, welcome back everybody to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a 2023 Acura TLX Type S. It's had a mid-cycle refresh, but the changes aren't actually that big. So as we go through this, as we go through this tour, I will show you some of the changes if I can, and I'll of course take it on that POV drive. All right, so starting up front as usual, we have the Acura logo with the front facing camera as well as we have like kind of like a diamond pattern. So right there is where the first change comes for 2024. The front grill here looks like it's a little bit elevated, just slightly. It's a very slight change, but we do have some active arrow down here with the Type S badging as well. I also really like these daytime running LEDs. They look like the Integras and then we have the main bulb right there. Very bright at night, very effective. It's a very, very aggressive front end. As you can see, some of the tire design there as well it all looks absolutely fantastic so let's take a look at what is powering this acura tlx we got a three liter turbocharged v6 engine that's going to give us 355 horsepower 354 pound feet of torque which is absolutely excellent it's also paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission and of course we have all-wheel drive now the engine is basically the same for the 2024 version as well so no change there and that's probably good news so now let's quickly move on to the side for the tlx you can see just how kind of like a pretty large sedan it is it's a little bit bigger or at least it looks a little bit bigger to me anyways than the integra was but we can see we have the type s badging on the side if we get a little bit closer we can see those nice rims that we have as well with the acura logo big red brakes on the front and we also have them on the back as well we have some parking not parking sensors but we have some one touch unlock and lock button right here slide your hand in and you're gonna have no problem some nice turn signal leds right here as well as a camera underneath because we do have a 360 degree camera on this thing those have been improved quality wise for the 2024 model as well also from the side you can kind of see how the spoiler or it has a small spoiler although i do think it is a little bit bigger than the one on the integra so the tlx has a little bit of a bigger spoiler right here as well and then last but certainly not least we have the back of the acura tlx which looks absolutely fantastic we got that quad exhaust where you can see we have the rear diffuser there as well we also have type s badging the tlx badging right there and the sh all-wheel drive i really like the back end of this thing the tail lights look fantastic it looks sporty but it also looks comfortable at the same time and it pretty much is exactly what it looks like but i just i just love that quad exhaust the sound isn't too bad out of it either <laughs> And then we can also open the trunk here. There's a little kind of hidden button here in the tail light. Press that one, kind of pops open by itself where you can see we have a little bit of room in here, not too much. There's not too much going on in there. You can see that also we have that kind of like thing for the body that, that kind of attaches. So I don't know how easy it would be to actually slide stuff down in there. I haven't tried, I don't have anything to try with, but the trunk space is actually quite large, which is nice as well. There's also been no changes for the 2024 in terms of the rear or the side it's really in the front and technology wise that we've seen any type of changes for the 2024 model year which again is good news in case you want to buy it in 2023 but there you go that's going to just about do it for the acura tlx exterior let's hop inside we're going to do some backseat shots and then of course hop in the front seat and then i'm going to strap the gopro to my forehead and give you that pov drive all right so first up we're going to take a look at the rear it is kind of on the small side you can see you still have the nice red leather stitching over here and we have the black that comes right nice the doors are not boring we have the els studio system which is a very very good sound system i like it a lot but let's actually hop in and see how well i fit i'm actually doing this on the passenger side because on the driver's side i don't fit very much there's you can see right there there's just not that much space here for me and you know sitting in the passenger seat i am just touching it behind the passenger um so it's okay right it's not terrible but definitely there's been other cars and i've had more room back here there's not that much room under the seat for my feet I do have a little bit of a pocket storage but yeah and i do have just enough headroom back here as well as I have my own lighting controls which is really nice i also have my own speakers back here which is cool it's very comfortable it is actually a very very comfortable i expect it to be more firm back here uh but no it's really really comfortable back here other than the leg room i could do a road trip back here no problem i got some vents I don't have any USB storage or anything like that. That will be fixed in the 2024. I'll have two USB sport, two USB ports right back here. So that's really nice. But yeah, it's not terrible. Like we've seen way worse. I've also got this little cup holder guy that's gonna come down, fold down for us. Not bad at all. 
we don't mind that so you know overall it's okay i just wouldn't sit behind myself as a driver because you would have absolutely no room and a hard time getting in but besides that all good so let's actually hop up front and i'll show you that all right so next up is going to be the front end for the acura tlx type best let's actually hop in here you can see that we have two memory seat settings which is nice they actually coincide with your key fob whether you have key fob one or two I like this kind of speaker design as kind of thing too. The red kind of shows up right away as well, as well as my windows controls here and the trunk button is right down there. I really like the design here. I liked it on the Integra and the TLX is not too much different design wise here. So that's great, but let's actually hop in. All right, so now we're inside the TLX. The sun's kind of coming in this way. So hopefully we can get some nice stuff. Anyways, you're greeted by this steering wheel right away with a Type S badge right on below. Then we have some physical buttons. I love that as well as the heated steering button, which is right there. I like this nice mix of like breathable leather almost. And then we also have like, you know, this other smooth stuff but this is like really grippy and i really like that especially in like a sporty vehicle it's really nice then we can move over to our gauge cluster where we have some controls or not a lot of controls it's a mix of digital and analog this is one of the areas in 2024 that's been changed so in 2024 it will all be digital but you can see that i have some settings here i have you know the current speed i can go fuel economy i can go compass you know tire pressure all that basic stuff is all right here there's not a lot of settings or anything like that in here it kind of can change when you change your drive mode but i just keep it on current speed no problem there then we'll move on to that infotainment display uh and i have to use it with this guy down here this is probably the worst part of the whole ensemble here is the fact that i have to go and use this touchpad it's very easy to get used to but it's just not fun to use if i want to be able to touch the screen i should be able to and you just can't i didn't like it on the mdx i don't like it now but everything else the screen's very responsive the touchpad is responsive as well there's a little bit of settings in there you can change your ambient lighting and stuff it does look very nice at night this ambient lighting as well it has wired carplay wired android auto this is going to be bigger in 2024 as well as it will add wireless carplay and wireless android auto which is not a feature i care about because i don't like that uh, wireless stuff anyways then we move on down to where you can see we have all our physical hvac controls i like that dual zone automatic climate control as well heated and ventilated seats which is excellent for both the driver and the passenger we have the dynamic button here so if i give this guy a twist i could go sport mode if i hold it i'll go into sport plus normal comfort and if i press I will get the individual mode. If I hold it, I can actually change some of the settings here, which you can see I have everything in sport and the suspension in comfort, which is nice. And you can also change your different ambient lighting if you want to. So moving just a little bit lower, we have our gear selector. Saw this on the MDX. This whole like console area here is uh, basically all MDX. Then we get a closer up look of the touchpad, little volume control to skip the media. We've also got a wireless charger here some cup holders and then we look at the seat design right over here which is extremely nice we've got type s inboarded right there also we have like it, it looks exactly like the integra like but i love this material this like breathable kind of cloth and then the breathable leather as well i love the red and black design this is really not a boring interior at all it does look a little bit dated because it's the you know the, the gauge cluster is not digital some people will like that some people won't uh but it's improved for 2024 if you don't like it now so that's completely fine but yeah really clean interior interior very nice to look at very nice place to spend time but with that being said let's see how it is on the road let's take it for a drive all right let's get this tlx out on the road now we're gonna drive this thing so overall this week it has been pretty excellent you know like of course the interior looks dated but honestly you don't really care because it drives exceptionally well like it really is a good driver's car and my cornering is where like the, i feel like the car really comes alive like you know i get why they would do a mid-cycle refresh but also at the same time i think their motivation because they're an automotive company obviously is is going to be more money than than anything else and, and i think that's what it is and i think if you wanted to save money but still get a tlx you wouldn't be disappointed by going with a 2023 because there's virtually no change on the outside lots of changes on the inside you know new camera uh better camera quality stuff like that bigger infotainment digital gauge cluster and i mean if you're into that stuff great but if you don't care about it and you just want a car that drives well then the 2023 model absolutely nails it on the head it's just a great driver's car that's also practical that you can do a lot of stuff with it's hard to ask for more than what this car is and it's pretty premium too premium price as well though 
So, you know, that all kind of comes with the territory. Now, I do have some drive modes. I've got, you know, normal, which I'm in now, individual, sport. Actually, I'm in comfort right now, but I'll go over to normal. Things are a bit quicker. Then I can go sport. The exhaust note kind of picks up a little bit. And then if I actually hold this knob right here, I'll go into full sport and then the revs really kick up and now we are in full sport plus mode and I can give it some beams. A little bit of lag, but really, really not bad at all. It's just a great car to drive. Like there's a little bit of like that turbo lag as you can, you can almost hear the boost building. Like you could hear the turbo kind of spooling up for me. But once you absolutely hammer your foot to the pedal, you're absolutely gone. And it's just, it's just fun. It's just fun to do, fun to use. Like, man, that Sport Plus mode is really solid. Woo, we get going real quick with this thing. And the downshifts are smooth and nice. And, and it always keeps you in like quite a high rev range. So you always have some type of power. Again, it does take the boost a little bit to, to build. So it is a little bit of a lag, a lot more of a lag than I noticed on the Integra. And this has even more horsepower to actually use that. So, so I, I really think that the one thing missing from the TLX Type S is really that the fact that it doesn't come in a manual transmission. A manual transmission of this version would be really, really fun. The TLX was a lot of fun. I mean, the Integra was a lot of fun. The TLX would be just as much fun in a manual version. And it just handles corners. Like it doesn't have rear wheel steering, I'm pretty sure, but it feels like it could because the back end is absolutely planted. The front end is nice and pointy. This, this TLX really comes alive in the corners. Like it is an absolute corner machine. I would love to take this on like, you know, any kind of track. And I think I can set pretty good lap times. And I have so much confidence going through all these areas, like going through these nice windy back roads and stuff. Like you just have so much confidence to put the power in and the car is going to stick right with you. And, you know, even on these straight little things, the bumpy roads, you know, I'm in sport plus mode, so it's a little bit bumpy. So I can actually pour myself into individual where I have everything in sport and everything and then the suspension in comfort. So everything's nice and comfortable, but I still have that engine kick. I still have the speed that I want. So I'm still pretty satisfied with all that. Now, fuel economy, I wasn't expecting it to be great. And it is definitely not great. It's around like the 15 liters per hundred kilometers, but I have been pushing it. Like I have been just coming out of corners and absolutely hammering the thing. So obviously you're gonna have to deal with uh, putting a lot more fuel in it when you do that. So, but it's been all right. I mean, it's, it's exact kind of what I expected maybe a little bit on the worst end of what I was expecting, but you know, it's, it's okay. I, I think that if you can afford one of these, you could probably afford the gas price that comes with it. So I think you're going to be okay. Visibility in this car is quite good. I feel like I can see the hood enough from where I'm sitting. I do like to sit quite low in these cars and quite far back in the sports car so I can have kind of my arms bend and I can really control the steering wheel well. But blind spot is good. You know, I've, it, it, it drives like a sedan. It really does. The way that it drives in like just everyday use, maybe not sporty use, but the way it drives everyday use, it, it really reminds me of the Kia Stinger. It, it like, the all wheel drive system, it's got like the same kind of, it's got a V6 in it as well. So like they drive super similarly and like it is a sedan that can be sporty, but also comfortable at the same time. And it really just reminds me of that, just the way I've been using it. And obviously the Kia Stinger is a little bit less of a premium quality than Acura. I do, I am aware of that, uh, but you know, obviously you can get the V6 for a cheaper price point with the Kia. And, but the thing is, I feel like way more people know that a TLX exists and not very many people know that the Stinger exists at all. Like, I don't think anybody knows that the Stinger exists still. So I think there's way more of a buyer's market for the Acura TLX Type S than there it would be for like something like this with a Stinger. So it's still, it's still good. And like, you know, it's not the loudest thing in the world. I've been saying all week that this is a very much gentlemanly speedy car. Like it's just, it's just quick, but like politely, like, you know, like the Integra Type S was quick and it bopped, it popped and banged manual transmission. You know, it was just this crazy, like unriled thing. And then you have the TLX that still has a good noise, but it doesn't pop and bang that much. You know, it's not that loud really. And it's more like 
you're more gonna hear the TLX from the inside than you really are from the outside. It's not, like I said, it doesn't pop in back. So it's more like polite, you know, it's more discreet, but you still have actually more speed than the Integra does. So you, know, you kind of kind of get the best of both worlds, more speed, but a little bit more quiet. Maybe, and obviously you could probably mod that to fix that quiet issue, but you know, for, for me, it's, it's pretty nice to go under the radar, but still be able to be pretty quick relatively. So that's nice as well. So overall, let's look at it like this. Do you really need the 2024? No, unless you really want a big tech upgrade. If you don't care about that, then if you can find this car in the used market in 2024, the 2023 TLX will absolutely put a smile on your face. It still has everything that you need. It's aged maybe, but not that much. Not as much as I think some might think because there was a mid-cycle mid refresh. I don't think. I think it's more of a money opportunity for Acura than an actual necessity. I think they could have probably re-rolled this in the 2024 and it probably would have sold the same way. Who knows if sales will improve for the TLX even with the tech upgrade. I'll be interested to see that. So let me know in the comments. Are are you interested in the 2024 with the tech upgrade or are you just happy with this 2023? Do you think it looks dated? Do you agree with what a lot of people have been saying? You let me know in the comments. I really want to know what you hear. I can't speak to the reliability of these cars as well. So if you want to help me out, anybody who does own a TLX Type S, let us know what the maintenance was like for you. Also let us know like, you know, reliability wise, is anything broken? We would love to hear it, the community. I want to have a community where, you know, it's kind of like a, a buyer's guide, buyer's help. You know, if, you, if you're not sure about reliability, you can ask the question in this community and somebody somewhere will own the car and answer that question for you. That That is my goal for this. So that would be awesome if you own this one, you could help me out. Or do you actually prefer the Integra? Because I've driven the Integra, there's a video on the channel right now, so go check that out if you're interested in the Integra Type S. Uh, do you prefer TLX or the Integra Type S? Which one do you think is better? Let me know in the comments as well. And that's gonna do it for the 2023 TLX Type S. If I can get the 2024 next year or early next year, I will definitely get it and check out some of the tech upgrades and tell you what it's like to live with those things as well. So for everything car related, if you're interested in any new car in the market, make sure you subscribe. I will eventually feature every single one on this channel. Thanks so much. I just hit a thousand subscribers. I want to take this opportunity to thank you so much. Even if you've watched my video for two minutes, it means the absolute world. And I can't thank you enough for supporting me. Uh, I love you all more than I can tell you. If, if you go ahead and watch another one of my videos, that's going to help me more than I could explain in one video. And yeah, just thanks so much for a thousand. It's an absolute doing this just for free, for no money, for nothing. I would do this forever. I would do this forever, forever, forever. I'm never going to stop. I, I absolutely love this community, love YouTube, love filming all these cars for you and just trying to help out in general. So thank you so, 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 so much for getting me to a thousand subscribers. Uh, it's an absolute dream come true. And I can't wait to see where we go next. I want to be the best car community on YouTube and let's see if we can do that. So with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. See you in the next car. See you in the next week. Take care.